everyone and thank you all for coming to today's video for Shard It or Keep It, where I'll be reviewing all types of weapons and perks and seeing how effectively good they are. Today we'll be looking into the new AR called the Braytech Werewolf that you can get from the Festival of the Lost event that is still going on. You will need to complete a triumph behind the event first and then collect some candy before then being able to purchase the weapon. This is a very useful AR for those that are still ranking up or just want a fully masterful AR that they can bring into PvP or PvP and just go to town with it. The curated role I'm currently reviewing has Hammer Forge, AP Rounds, Zen Moment and Multi-Kill Clip. From experience of messing around with the weapon, it plays quite well when you stay within your effective range, which is always going to be mid-range. With the curated role, it's perfectly indicated that this would best fit for a casual player who are either new to Destiny, aka first light players, or those that want a reliable AR that can simply pick up and go to town from there. Perks such as Zen Moment and Multi-Kill Clip will work wonders in PV environment, as the moment will provide a nice steady boost in stability over time, while multi kill clip will provide a damage boost after damage boost, depending on how many kills you can net within a short time frame. It also makes it quite fitting for PvP as well, as the perks, once again, can be passed over easily from one end to another, but only for more casual play, as using this in competitive play, you'll most likely be out damaged by players, who are generally going to be using more competitive weapons with faster TDK and such. One thing I would swap out though is multi kill clip for perhaps kill clip, as kill clip has a more simpler condition for activating it there and then, compared to multi kill clip where it has better usage for PvE. Also, the TDK difference between the two are noticeable but more easier for us to understand. It has a TDK of 0.93, which is average for those that want to use it in PvE, while PvP is not really that much to fawn over, as there are generally better weapons with better TDK or much more better stat overall. Now, with Kill Clip active, it will push our TDK from 0.93 down to 0.67. While Multi Kill Clip 1 will activate, it will push it down to 0.80. Then at 2, it will push it down to 0.67. And then at 3, is 0.53. So, it sounds better to go with Multi Kill Clip in this situation. However, when you think about how effective it will be in PvP, then you realize that Kill Clip is much better, since you're going to have a much more easier chance of getting one kill and activating it there and then, compared to multi kill clip where you have to kill a at least around 3 people first before then being able to activate the third marker, or 2 people to activate the second marker. So you can see in which areas it's going to be much more beneficial in. So it seems like quite a perfect weapon with its perks. So how does it play out? Now here's some live commentary on being using a weapon in action in Crucible so you can get a general feel of how good it is. And then once it's over, then I'll give you the end review as to whether you should keep the weapon or okay. shard it. Supremacy. Yeah, this, this is gonna end badly. Nope. 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 Where's my teammate? Where's my teammate? Why were you there? Why are you? Mm. Fine, that's okay, I'll get my own quest. I'll get this other guy's quest as well. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Now, that was terrible. I could have avoided that completely. I'll get my own quest again. Stop right there. Anyone there? No? Okay. Numbers Guardian. Excellent. Put that right there, and there's someone right over there, okay. One after another. Double down.
So, we're doing alright, supremacy wise, but you know how things usually are. We do good, and then something bad really, really. Okay, li literally, as I say as well. But I will wholeheartedly admit that I do like this assault rifle, it's good, but it's not something you want you want to use on something more serious. That's why we have fire team. Okay, yeah, back off. Best thing I can say is if you're gonna play if you play this on any other if you play some, something more serious, like a comp for example, you probably won't do good. I envy your strength, Titan. Your allies feast on the glory you served them. I know, right? Uh, I'm just wiggle my ear. And we'll go nuts. So we'll go in, we'll push so in. Glory, so little time. Not today, my friend. Not today. I'm just gonna keep firing because. Oh dear. The other side. Might be this side. No. There's no one here. Yeah. It's on this side. So much glory, so little time. Yo, I don't know understand why my teammates don't correct their own allies tags. Oh my god, some guy here. Five minutes left. Keep it up. Team's doing good. Together as Team is doing really damn good. And the AR is actually melting quite good. Yes, you take them like they grow yeah, from trees. Yeah, weather. Why, teammate? <laughs> I was thinking to myself, like, why are you guys not picking it up? We're winning, which is the good sign. But at the same time, it's like, why are you guys not picking any of them, picking the tags up? Oh, look at that damage. I could off. I literally could off. If that one other guy there, where the super was not there, I probably would have just taken it. Pick up the tags now because this is how my teammates are. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. That was nasty. Some way up there. Victory is all I ask. Sweet. Good. Okay, that, that was a pretty good match. That was a good match.
a good match with a good test of the weapon. Weapon was quite effective. AR was smooth, smooth as long as I play within my range. Good. And yeah, good AR, good, like it. Now why you should keep your weapon or not is entirely down to where you see yourself using it. Like I mentioned before, it has great usage and application in PvE environments against lower level adds, and some relative use in PvP. But except from that, its damage is average at best. It doesn't bring much to the table in terms of changing things up, and because of ARs with their low TDK, they don't really have much overall usage compared to hand cannons with higher damage, or even pulse rifles with better range and perks, or even sidearms to some degree. If you're a new player who needs a decent weapon to support yourself till end game, then this is one of the best things to work with. But if you're a high level player who already have better ARs overall, then this is something just to save in your vault for another time, when either the TTK will be increased for ARs, or when you feel like changing. But for new light players, this is one weapon I wholeheartedly recommend that you get and keep and use until you get better equipment later on. So that comes to the end of the weapon review for today. Now if you enjoyed the video then please leave a like and a sub, and also follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with Destiny content if you dig that type of stuff. Link is down below. But once again thanks for stopping by and I'll see you guys in the next one.